Hey everyone, this is J-Dog, and I'm here with another video. And this is another edition of J-Dog Sports. For those who are new, this is where I talk about my topics related to sports. So, I recently did a video on um, South Carolina and UConn winning their separate tournaments at this year's NCAA Basketball Championships, a.k.a. March Madness. But guess who, unfortunately, oh, before I continue, um, yeah, congratulations to South Carolina and Coach Don Daly for winning the women's tournament, and for the men's, congratulations to UConn, the University of Connecticut, home of the Huskies, for winning the men's tournament in basketball's March Madness NCAA tournament. But guess who is going to walk away with zero rings after playing four to five years in college basketball, being hyped up by the lamestream media, only to walk away empty-handed. And this is nothing against her, to tell you the truth, but this is to those idiotic, racist fan base of hers, of this individual that photo you're seeing, well, prefer, first of all, for those who don't know who this is, if you somehow don't know who this is, this is was soon to be former Iowa basketball player for the Iowa Hawkeyes in Caitlin Clark. She recently uh, was playing for Iowa, um, home of the Hawkeyes, um, in the women's basketball team. For the past four to five years. Five because she had to do an extra year because of the 2020 pandemic. So, and now she's on her way to be drafted into the WNBA. Um, she recently had a few accomplishments in basketball, including breaking the scoring record. And I think she won at least one conference championship. Not the NCAA championship. Um, a conference thing. But she could not win the big one, and that's the w, the NCAA championship. The NCAA championship um, is the big one if you're a college athlete. And people, including the lamestream media, including the fan base who was um, trying to make Caitlin Clark, this one right here, the so-called Great White Hope, yeah, the Great White Hope, right here. Um, they was hoping that she would win an NCAA championship, and she couldn't do it. She couldn't do it. The last last year, she competed against LSU for a title, and Angel Reese ended up winning, and that's why the racists ended up attacking Angel Reese. Uh, attacking Angel Reese because she kept Caitlin Clark over here for winning a championship, NCAA championship. And this year, it was South Carolina who was being coached by Don Staley that, once again, Caitlin Clark was unable to win an NCAA championship, and the Hawkeyes were, once again, unable to win an NCAA championship. And I know why, even myself, is happy that Caitlin Clark did not win. Nothing against Caitlin Clark, but unfortunately, it's the fan base of hers. They were the, trying to hype up, especially the racists in her fan base. I'm not saying Caitlin Clark was racist. and There's no evidence indicating whether or not Caitlin Clark is racist or not. And, and I mean, because I don't have no hatred for all white players. There's a few, I'm a few fans of a few, I'm mostly fans of black players. I do have a few uh, white players I'm a fan of, but it's nothing against Caitlin Clark. The reason why I technically ended up not wanting her to win is because I knew that the white supremacists were going to use her to rub it in black people's face. And because all they've been looking for was nothing more than a great white hope. And Caitlin Clark ended up being a, once again, a great white nope. I'm actually going to do a separate video 
on the so-called uh, uh, great white hope and why racists, white supremacists, and anti-black racists are always so desperate for a great white world. I'm going to do a separate video one day, but that's another, uh, or maybe you get the picture. I, I am planning on doing it um, pretty soon. So, and you, you can understand the jizz, uh, you can understand about the desperation of these white supremacists and these anti-black racists, the de desperation in sports for another great white hope. But yeah, that's how Caitlin Clark was seen as the great white hope. It was the lamestream media, it was the buck dancers, the white supremacists. They were the ones that were hyping up. Like again, I'm not saying Caitlin Clark was a white supremacist. She had there's no evidence or had any belief or had any belief of white supremacy. But I have to point out that it was the white supremacists that tried to bump this woman up. That tried to bump because they were the ones that were desperate for a top white athlete in a sport that's being heavily predominated by black athletes to try to be the great white hope, just like what Larry Bird was back in the 80s when he was team in the Boston Celtics and taking on Magic Johnson, who was in the L.A. Lakers. So, yes. And this all really started when Caitlin Clark lost last year to Angel Reese. That Caitlin Clark was supposed to be the golden star, but who messed it up for Caitlin Clark? Angel Reese. And since then, those same racists started attacking Angel Reese. It's like they were so desperate. They wanted to talk about the hand gesture thing that this woman, Caitlin Clark, was doing. But then when Angel Reese was doing it, that's when they started attacking Angel Reese. They don't even talk about when Caitlin Clark sometimes go after the refs when they are accused of making bad calls, but they want to call Angel Reese the bad sportsman, the bad the one to have bad sportsmanship. When 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 Angel Reese all she Angel Reese was doing was something that this woman was doing that John Cena does, which by the way John Cena got from a black rapper. I believe it was Tony Yayo of G-Unit, which was 50 Cent's group. But, yeah. Um, but that shows you that the white supremacists and anyone, and, and, and I guess the Caitlin Clark fans were so desperate for Caitlin Clark to get a championship, an NCAA championship, out of desperation. So they can make her the quote or something like that, or the goat. And when that failed, this happened. You got some of these fans all panicking, all crybaby-ish. Yeah, these fans all crybaby-ish and stuff like that. Yeah, um, let's just face it. Now, Caitlin Clark, she's going to have to, um... Caitlin Clark is going to have to uh, try again. Yeah, Caitlin Clark is going to have to try again. Um, well, actually, she can't try again. Not in college. Her college days is over. Now she's going to have to try to, you know, have a good WNBA career. She's about to go to the WNBA. Let's see what she can do in the WNBA. She's, she's going to have to do something in the WNBA to fix. Because right now, the, 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 the fan club of Caitlin Clark, the the racists and stuff like that, uh, the white supremacists, the anti-black athletes, the anti-black people, uh, white supremacists, the, uh, the people who want a great white hope, um, they're going to have to uh, start all over from the drawing board and see what Caitlin Clark does in the WNBA, which will be a little bit more difficult.
And that's why I don't even feel sorry. I don't even feel sorry. Because this is what the white supremacist media gets for trying to hype someone just so you can rub it in black people's faces and it ends up backfiring. Y'all should have gave Angel Reese her props and many people even tried to ignore South Carolina winning the champion NCAA championship undefeated this season. And, but their so-called glory angel, ain't, um, their, their goddess, Kaylin Clark, just couldn't get the job done. And she had five years, four at least, to try to do it. And she just couldn't do it. And I don't feel bad. I don't, I don't feel sorry. But that's all I have to say. This is what you get for so desperate to get a PC hope. And, and this is what happens when the when 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 they're when the strategy to just rub it in black people and try to sabotage the black athlete ends up backfiring. But that's all I have to say. Kaylin Clark, while she may be a good athlete, she's not the so called quote. That's what Jay Williams was talking about, that in order to be the quote, she had to win the big one, but she couldn't win the big one. And they went after him. I'm talking about Jay Williams, an analyst for ESPN. They went after him because she talked about, he. I mean, he talked about why Caitlin Clark can't, can't really be the quote if she don't win the big one. And she couldn't win the big one. At least with LeBron James, the reason why, even though some people are debating whether or not he's the GOAT, at least he's in the conversation because he won four NBA championships. But also, it's also he also won two gold medals in the Olympic Games. So he's won the big ones. Same with Michael B. Jo- I mean Michael Jordan. With Tom Brady, they he was the great white hope in the NFL. At least, however, he won seven Super Bowls. He did at least win the big ones. Guess who did not win the big ones? This woman right here, Caitlin Clark. So no, she really cannot be the quote. Yes, she has accomplishments like the score leaving records, but she cannot be the quote or the GOAT. Yeah, she can't be the so-called goat. Too bad. Oh well. But that's all I have to say. I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Write down in the comment section what y'all think. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And hit that notification bell. And this is another edition of J-Dog Sports. Thank you for watching. And I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace everyone.